It's a historic day for those who paved the way on the highways and byways of Michigan, a first of its kind undertaking here in our state, and it's happening right here in West Michigan. A bridge project built first, then pushed into place. Today, stage one in Michigan's first concerted effort to budge the bridge. Good. Good. It's an inch by inch, push by push, ever slow, ever careful process. Don't look too close, cause you won't see it. Just trust and believe. The bridge is moving as we speak. It's a new way of installing new bridges. The process that would normally go on for weeks would shut down traffic and madden motorists now disrupts drivers for just five days. That's because they built the new bridge next to the old one. Now that it's ready, they've knocked the old one down. And you build it on temporary lateral skids and then slide the new bridge into place. If only it could be done as simple as it could be said. You only can move it a couple inches at a time. They got to make sure it's completely even, obviously. It's the first one in Michigan. First one in Michigan, yeah. <laughs> all yeah. Cool. Ready. Indeed, it is somewhat historic. The first one in Michigan, here in the middle of nowhere, Macosta County, three mile over 131. But this is no Michigan marvel. It's been done elsewhere, and this captures the idea. An Iowa bridge time lapse slides into place. The guys at MDOT loved the idea. It's safer, smoother, and smarter. And at 350 a gallon or whatever gas costs nowadays, the savings is in the millions for motorists, and of course, the time saved is immeasurable. In the time we spent out here, the bridge did move eight inches, we're told. There's plenty more work to do. But the word from the hard hats is no doubt that this is the way to do it. Where you can, this will become the new standard. The process to slide the bridge will take about 10 hours, so it'll be done later this evening. Should be done sometime tonight, but it won't be ready for travel, though, until later in the week. Now, this process is similar to what will happen to the Alden Nash Bridge over 96. That one is set to be put in place later on in this construction season.